So we're going to do a bong lap drill. And this drill is good because when you feed this drill, the person doing the technique can choose different attacks, <laughs> uh, different tools to use as their attack and develop a good sense of timing and rhythm about what's going to happen when you do cheese out. Because cheese out, you can never always tell which direction the punch is going to go, you have to feel what's going to open up. Okay? So the idea is, it's a bit of a pressure drill, because you have to make a decision very quick, but that's the idea of these drills. You do them slow to learn them, but when you, when you, when you know them, you should be able to do them fast, under pressure, and that pressure is going to put you out of your comfort zone. Okay? So if he punches across my hand, and he bonks out, and then you have to wait until the person has finished the technique, then you punch. Once, you, once I finish the technique, hand out. Once I've finished technique, this should be here. Once it's finished, then you punch. If you punch too early, it's a different drill, right? I can't do it if you're going to punch early. So when I hit here, now you punch, then I react. Now you punch, then I react. So you have, I can change to a back fist, I can do a trot, I can punch low. And then you can start hitting your technique faster, more control. So you're developing a fast control of your lab style and feeding the technique. And then once you get used to doing that, you can change obviously what your attack is. But then you can also start to think about breaking structure and there will be a finish. Right? So every time you're in cheese style and you do a lap style, now when I do a lap style, I'm already ahead of him. Because I hit so fast and quick, I'm ready to go to the next technique. I'm ready to go to the next technique. If his hand comes up, I'm ready to go to the other side. So it's a very good feeder drill to practice.